Lord. Lord. Greetings and salutations, my friends. It is I once again, Sainuther here, and joined tonight again by my wonderful friends, Ambrosia Hartnett and The Warsman. We are here to play a little more Fallout uh, 2D20. How are you doing, my friends? Uh, hopefully, good. I won't be. Hopefully, I won't be falling asleep at the console this time. <laughs> do 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 I, do I need to assign? Uh, do I need to assign a, a friggin' uh, what the hell are they called? Um, Damn it. Do I need to assign a rut herd to you to smack you with a whip every time you start nodding off? You do, that, I'll be down to grow. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So, a uh, quick recap from last time. I know it's been a couple weeks since we played uh, because of schedule issues. But we're here tonight again. We're going to continue. So, uh, in our previous in episode, you guys found the Institute outpost, managed to infiltrate it stealthily, I might add. So you got inside without make, raising a fuss. Once you got inside, you discovered that there was an exact duplicate of your town square of Winchester with duplicates of people you know, such as, you know, Ducky, the, uh, um, the town doc, uh, Grundy, and even, what's his name? Um, actually, no. Scratch that last one. <clears throat> but yeah, there was copies of people. Like, what the hell? Um... It turns out the Institute was, was slowly attempting to duplicate and take over your town for some reason. Because, well, their main goal is to repopulate the entirety of the wasteland with synths. Because, well, synths are perfect. They don't make mistakes, you know? And they're perfectly capable of handling the life on the wastelands. And they want to tuck people away underground until they slowly die off, basically. Because, yeah, they're interesting let's just put it at that so um rather than listening to the crazed scientists go on any further um and uh you know join in on his crazed plan you decide to say screw you and the horse you rode in on or in this case screw you and the brahmin you rode in on <laughs> uh and decided to fight back at which point he summoned a couple of synths that were uncanny resemblances of your characters identical doppelgangers and yeah a very death-defying uh battle ensued that you both managed to scrape through barely and oddly enough though it got off to a fun start because uh kneecaps my man you just totally like one blasted the the dock on the first turn but that's when your luck started to go downhill after that. But again, you know, and all said and done, you managed to pull out. You you blew up the central computer, which made the entire thing trivial at that point. And, uh, yeah, managed to destroy the facility. And thus, uh, protecting the town of Winchester. Or protecting it for now. Slowing down the Institute. But their presence is still very strong in this region. And that was just an outpost. It wasn't the main base. So, upon returning to the town of Winchester, um, the three of you, well, the two of you, sorry, Jeff, the, well, the two of you plus Jeff, the doggo. <laughs> the 2.5. <laughs> yes, exactly, 2.5, there we go. The three of you, I shall say that now, are... <laughs> Yes, I know. Yes, the two of you. You are now in front of the trio of the town tribunal. Who are uh, formally congratulating you and thus uh, promoting you as heroes of the town. You are the best that the town has to offer. But in also by you becoming the best and the um, brightest of the town's folk, they are tasking you with a major quest which is well i mean you fought them off but we're not gonna get anywhere actually i'll go into detail on that one here right now so from left to right you see desiree Rosalind, and victor well sorry desiree victor and uh Rosalind. my bad <laughs> desiree a ghoul uh, Victor, uh, one of the normal generic humans, and so is Rosalind. They are your uh, 
town tribunal. And yeah, a lot of this, a lot of what I'm going to be doing, because now we're in completely unscripted territory. This is all, the rest of this campaign is going to be completely uh, cooked up by myself. So there may or may not be some extra detailed uh, dialogue zones. I'm going to be making this up a lot on the fly. And uh, basically I spent a lot of my time in between games expanding the list of items and equipment and everything else that's involved in the game. There's going to be some extra mechanics and um, excuse me, and a lot of homebrewed stuff, because now we're in a complete homebrew campaign. Uh, excuse me. Um, oh, and if you check the Discord, I'll actually put another link right here. Well, if you check the Discord, there is a link to the um, spreadsheet, the Google Docs spreadsheet, or the, the Google Sheets, sorry, the Sheets that has 90% because I'm almost done with it. I still got a few more things to crank out, but it is mostly done of all, actually I'd say more like 80%, 85 tops. There's still a little bit more for me to populate in there, but all the weapons, most of the armor, well, all the standard armors, power armor hasn't been implemented yet and we won't be seeing that for a while. Um, the consumables, like the food, the drinks, the chemicals that you can take, medical supplies, all of that jazz, all of that has been populated into the sheets. Uh, you guys can take a look at that at uh, your leisure later on to go over it. Uh, it's very straightforward, very um, organized, I will say so by myself. And it also details in not only like what does the weapon do, uh, how much damage it does, its effects, and things like that. It also depicts, um, you know, uh, what mods it takes. That's a, the mods, what they do is on a separate sheet, but they're all uh, organized, and uh, yeah. So, anyways. <clears throat> so, Desiree will, Desiree will open up first, congratulating the two of you and your doggo, so two and a half. <laughs> Congratulations! Our champions have returned. This town owes you all a great debt. Without your brave efforts, none of us would be here. We'd all be walking tin cans. Well, most of us would be. Some of us would be just six feet under if we were if we were lucky. Yes, this town owes you more than we could ever give to you. We are a small, modest town, but right now all we can really offer is our thanks. And, unfortunately, there is one more bit of business that we, the main reason why we've called you before us, aside from giving you all our heartfelt thanks. Yes, it's not easy to ask of this because you've already done so much for our town, but we have talked... The three of us have talked it over and we've decided that we need to send you out into the wastelands to gather up allies and support to defend our town because as we all know this was not this is not going to be the institute's last you know uh last ditch effort yes it's only a matter of time before they try again and reform so the only way we're going to be truly free of Institute's influence and control is to take them out once and for all. Or to make ourselves such a fortified target and tight-knit, more tight-knit group that it is not worth the resources for them to commit to. So, that is why we have tasked the two of you and your brave dog to go out and handle this because you are the best that we have will you accept this task mm, yes dear sir for this has also become my home so i am more than willing to do my part and help out kneecaps are Kneecap. mm -hmm. Kneecaps will, kneecaps will merely just tip his hat and say, Just doing our job, sirs and ma'am. Listen, the fact that you provide, you know, decent to clean food and water, a place to 
lay our heads down so we can get a decent night's shut eye is more than enough. But as it goes, I sincerely doubt those Poindexters out there are going to let this lie down. Our, our thoughts exactly, which is why we are tasking you, giving you this grand task. And All I can say is, leave it to us. But again. as for how we go about it, though, therein lies the conundrum. Both plans sound good, but they come with their own advantages and disadvantages. God only knows what the hell is out there. And whether there's people we can trust, people that backstab us, and people that want us for our supplies and whatnot. All I'm going to say is this. I say we leave it to a coin flip to decide our, our next choice of action. Go on. The council, seems, way, the council seems intrigued by way. your, by your uh, pr <laughs> proposal. Please go on. That way, no guilt for any for anyone who picked what. And if everything goes pear-shaped, well, at the very least, I can tell you this much. I'm going down swinging. <laughs> but I will be damned before I even let those Poindexters even think of laying a finger here. Well said. So, we've are, we have limited information on... We have limited information on what's out there because we haven't really we've been keeping to ourselves mostly but you know just like anybody in the wastelands you can only survive for so long on your own eventually you will need to you know gather allies and people that you can trust such as what we've done here but we can only do so much on our own our supplies are limited and so are all our resources which is why we were going which is why, again we have why we have tasked the three of the, the two of you Two and a half. I keep saying three. I'm thinking of the other person who's not here yet in our campaign. <laughs> Anyways, uh, once again, yeah, which is why we've tasked you to go out and uh, gather things up. But we do know of some of the other major players in this region. <clears throat> of course, the most obvious is the Brotherhood of Steel, which are wonderful young medic here liara or lara is from hails from you know their support may be uh invaluable to defending us of course we do we all know that their society is very close dit for the most part they don't they usually don't work with outsiders but with lara here being our ambassador or their ambassador, vice versa, both a double-sided ambassador, shall we say. Um, it should be a little easier to convince them. Of course, you know, her being a member does have its advantages and its drawbacks, we understand. But it seems like an obvious choice to uh, seek out the Brotherhood's assistance, wherever they may be. Lara is a little, un is not entirely familiar. I will, I will out of character. Lara sort of knows where their main bases are, but she is not at liberty to divulge said information. It would have to be earned by the rest of the group. So, to put that thought out of mind. It's like, yeah, no, that's part of the secrecy and the survival of the Brotherhood. It's like, no, 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 no. Um, the, 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 don't come to us, we'll come to you eventually. Once you become a little bit more well-known. Of course, you have probably a, already... A, gathered some what's the word i'm looking for attention from the brotherhood be it good or bad that'll be me well we remain to be seen <clears throat> but yeah so the brotherhood is one of the three potential main players in this region to seek assistance from another group that we know of that have provided assistance to us before in the past when we were first starting out is are the minutemen their, their strength in this region is very low at the moment. They are stretched very thin, and their resources are somewhat thin as well. But they do have a large number of, of number of volunteers and people that can help us out. So seeking them out and making them an ally would be a benefit to us all. And of course, the third major group that we are aware of 
but we have no means of contacting is the Underground Railroad. There are, they are in direct opposition to the Institute. Their whole goal, if you are unaware, is to help synths run away and, you know, and seek refuge from the Institute. Because eventually, some synths do develop their, how shall we say, own conscience because of their advanced AI and algorithm learning programs. They develop their own personalities and sense of morals and seek more than just being a puppet of the Institute. And in some cases, they do turn rogue and seek refuge. The Institute usually stops at nothing to hunt them down and reassimilate them or eliminate them if they are too much of a liability. And the other and the Grail Road, their main goal is to help these synths or people, as they call them, and you know, live a better life, a clean life, free of the Institute. They would be a great ally as well. Now, seeking out all three allies would be an absolute wonderful thing to have, but we are aware that some of these groups do not play well with others, so keep your options open and always be thinking about which groups would help would benefit us most. Do you have any questions before you depart on your journey. Mm, so, those are our choices, huh? Your crew, a couple of able-bodied stiffs who will probably give us a hand if they have the ability to, and more tin cans that actually may or may not have a soul. Decisions, decisions. So... <laughs> Break, to, to break it down a little bit more easier, Brotherhood's bo Brotherhood, uh, really great in technology and, and military training. Few in number, but, you know, what few they have, they make up for with their vast uh, array of technology and, you know, old world tech and sciences and stuff. Minutemen, great in number, but... That's their strength and their weakness because they're so large in number. Their supply lines are very sh are very thin, and they can't be every they can't really be everywhere at once because their organization is still very budding in this zone in this territory. So, um, pretty pretty easy to work with too. They are they are probably the easiest group to to work with right now. And the railroad, not the best equipped, not the best supplied but what they lack in those two areas they make up for with enthusiasm yeah, okay. okay so close the door then anyways, sorry my mom talked to me anyways um yeah so not the best supplied not the best um was it, equipped and everything but what they lack up what they lack in those they make up for in their network they have spies everywhere there is almost always somebody connected to the railroad in any any place you go they have ears everywhere and they have a really great way of connect communicating with each other covertly so good spy network so think about your options there and again as the tri as the council just informed you you might not be able to make friends with all three two of them for sure one of them, yeah, one of them, hell yes. Two of them, probably all three, that's going to be a long shot. Depending on your choices. And I will tell you that upright as, a, as the DM, that yes, um, there is the there will be the potential to make friends with all three, which would be the absolute best outcome, but it's going to require some doing. And certain choices that you guys will make might burn those bridges. So be aware. So, 
you are now free is like if there are no further questions then uh you you will be free to start up your quests um i am sure that you have things to do here in town um oh yes by the way um lurch did mention a while back to me that he has some things he wants to discuss with you ah yes and i believe grundy and the doc or sorry ducky were looking for you as well they might have some supplies or some advice to give you t before you leave on your journey right okay right off with me real quick yeah, and, yeah i was gonna say and before you guys uh take off um yeah cause i know you're getting ready to leave here the the town hall at the moment um they'll say this it's it's a figure of speech but it doesn't really mean anything mechanic wise right now at least i haven't put it in but yeah so it's like so you know please begin your journey as soon as possible you know we time is of the essence not really though there is not gonna be i'm not gonna keep a secret clock on the side being like oh you guys have taken this many days well now you guys are screwed i'm not gonna be that harsh this is not fallout one where you had a fucking clock to to get the water chip before the water runs out was it 150 no, it was 150 days <laughs> yeah none of that crap this is more like fallout 2 where it's like go get the thing but you know you can take your time as long as you take as long as you don't take i think it was 30 years or 50 years <laughs> There was a soft clock. It was so large, though, it might as well be non-existent. But there was a clock. Anyway, so yes. If you have no further questions for us, you are free to go about your journey. Mm, and with that, the council, ha the council has granted you permission to leave. The minute we leave, Kneecaps is going to turn over to Lara. All right, Doc, out with it. What's your thoughts on this whole rigmarole? <laughs> Rubbing her chin a bit, she pretty much is like, hmm, I'd probably say given who our opponent is, we might want to try to recruit the Underground Railroad. But given me, I'd also say the Brotherhood. But that's just because, well, me, me. Well, uh, here's one more bit of, tidbit of information, which is why I also put it out. The uh, Getting all three groups to agree won't be the easiest. Outright, the Brotherhood and the Railroad are in oppositions to each other. They are not friends. They do not like each other. They won't, act, they won't actively open fire on each other, but their objectives are fundamentally different. The railroad's ob objective is to save and protect synths and get them away from the institute. 